So today is Monday, June the 8th, 2015, and I'm standing out here in a field we planted last fall, cereal rye, after the soybeans were harvested. And we've come in here this spring and we've direct drilled soybeans. And you can see the cereal rye has died. We've used herbicide to kill it. And the soybeans down in here are growing quite nicely. Unfortunately, we have had a three inch rain event since planting. And what is amazing to me is, is that if you look closely here, where the cereal rye has protected the soil, we have lots of soybeans growing. But if you come over here, just a little bit to my right, we have an area where the cereal, cereal rye did not survive the winter. And where the cereal rye was not growing, there is no soybeans. They have died, they've rotted literally in the soil after this rain. So there was nothing to protect the soybeans, or the soil rather, the soil surface. And so this clay ground that we're so blessed to farm has all nicely crusted over. And the soybeans are struggling to come through. And if you dig down in the soil, they are crusted in as farmers like to call them. So they're not gonna come up. You can see over here, there's a few that have rotted or that are rotting. Here's the cotyledons here. If we look down at the soil and look at the cotyledons, they're starting to rot, they're crusted in, they're tight. And so what this shows me again is that cover crops have a multiple purpose, not only for wind, solar, erosion, but obviously for water infiltration. And it allows the soil surface to be protected from the harsh impact of heavy rain events like we've had recently. That's all from this corner of deep southwestern Ontario and thanks for watching.